everyone, it's Rachel. So I just wanted to come through and bring you eight tips to help you be a happier person, okay? So these are eight tips that I've researched and I found, and these are things that I plan on doing in 2018, seeing that we are so close to the new year. I just wanted to give you some tips to help you be successful. Okay, so the first tip is gonna be devote time to your family and friends. I know that it's really hard with having a busy work life, a personal life, all of those many things. It's stressful and it's hard to be able to balance things, but it's important to devote time to your family and friends. Not just liking a picture on social media, not just, you know, checking them up on social media. You wanna make sure that you're devoting time to call and talk to a cousin, talk to your family, talk to your friends, just checking in with people. That's something that can make you a happier person, okay? So number two is going to be express gratitude for all that you have. Not just thinking of what you're working towards, but being grateful for your eyesight, being grateful for your vision. Um, that's something just as simple as that, being grateful for your friends, being grateful for your job. Just being grateful for what you have today is gonna make you such a more happier, more pleasant person. So number two, be grateful for everything that you have. Number three, be the first to offering a helping hand. If you need, if someone that you know needs something, be the first person to answer. And this could be at your job, this could be in your personal life. Just go the extra mile, be the first person to offer. It makes you feel good, it makes you happy. Being of service is something that is so rewarding to us as humans and it's something that's important for us to do. Number four is practice optimism when things when thinking of the future so when you're thinking of what's going to be next you know don't give yourself anxiety don't be nervous don't be upset about it just relax and think of optimism be excited be optimistic know that good things are coming good times are coming just remain positive about that okay number five live in the moment okay live in the moment. I feel like with social media, it's so easy for us to constantly be scrolling that we don't even recognize what's going on. We're not breathing. We're not really focusing on our breasts. We're just, just focused on so much. Like she's doing this. I got to do this. Or this is the, the, it's just like, we're not being present. So when you're not present, you're not happy because you're thinking about something. You're trying to get something. Be present. Be where you are and just be happy in this moment, okay? Number six, deeply committed to your life goals. Be deeply committed to what you want your life to look like. Whether that's being healthy, healthy, whether that's getting a promotion, whether that's being, whatever your goals are, whatever you are striving towards, be deeply committed to those things. Don't waver, don't be weak, be strong, believe in what you believe in, and be committed to your goals. That is number one, just knowing what you want and being committed to it. That's going to take you far. Number seven, exercise weekly. I think that a lot of my friends and a lot of people I know, we have a lot of anxiety, we have a lot of depression, and I think that's because we're not working out regularly. Um, the endorphins that you get from working out are just amazing. So work out weekly. You know, don't sit on the couch and, and scroll through Instagram all day. Really focus on your body and your endurance and building all that and just being a stronger and more rounded rounded person so work out weekly okay and my last tip number eight is practice poise and strength in crisis that is something that's really hard to do when things are going haywire and you feel like things are just gonna take you under it's important for you to be poised it's important for you to practice having strength in crisis because you know what? That's what's going to get you through. The tough times, they always, pa they always pass, but you have to remain calm, stay focused, don't lose your head, and just practice having that poise in all situations no matter what, okay? So I hope that you take these tips and I hope that they're helpful for you. Please let me know your favorite tip or something that you do to help give you happiness every day. What are the little things? Is it like making your bed in the morning? Is it a cup of coffee? Is it your dog? Let me know. Share yours in the comments below. And uh, thank you for watching and I'll see you soon.